Number 10. At the urging of his parents, a young Benedict originally planned to become a lawyer. Before studying drama at Manchester University, he also spent a gap year teaching English in a Tibetan monastery. Number 9. The Sherlock star revealed in an interview that he nearly lost his life while filming BBC miniseries to the ends of the earth in South Africa. A gang of six men kidnapped him and co-star Dennis Black. But Benedict managed to argue his way out. He said of the ordeal, it's made me want to live a life slightly less ordinary. Number 8. Like fellow actors Kiefer Sutherland and Simon Pegg, Benedict Cumberbatch's eyes are actually two different colors. Benedict's passive condition is known as sectoral heterochromia and is responsible for how his eyes seem to change from green to blue depending on the light. Number 7. Both Benedict's parents, Timothy Kotlin and Wanda Wantham, are actors themselves. They have been starred along the man himself as his on-screen parents in Sherlock's third season. Benedict said he was so proud of them but admitted it was kind of nerve-wracking. Number 6. His first acting role as a child was Joseph in the school's nativity play. He pushed Mary off the stage because she was talking too long. He says his greatest disappointment is not being a dad by the age of 32 and believes that having children would be the greatest achievement. Number 5. Benedict Cumberbatch had a suggestion for the photographers camped outside the BBC Sherlock, said Saturday in Cardiff, Wales. As he exited his trailer, Cumberbatch hid his face behind a hooded jacket and glasses and held up a sign reading, Go photograph Egypt and show the world something important. Number 4. Cumberbatch has repeatedly expressed his affection for radio and has done numerous productions for the BBC like John Mortimer's novel Rumpole and the Panky Bungalow Murders, Cabin Pressure, Neil Gaiman's Neverwhere and Michael Friend's play Koopa Hagen. He has even narrated numerous documentaries for the National Geographic, the Discovery Channel and read for several audiobooks including Casanova, The Tempest. Benedict has done voiceovers for several commercials for Jogger, Sony, Pimps and Google+. In 2013, Cumberbatch narrated the documentary film Jerusalem and Cristiano Ronaldo, the world at his feet. Number 3. He thinks his own name sounds like a fart in a bath, and his mother wasn't keen on keeping it. One day he told someone his real name, and they said, it's great, and it's something Cumberbatch can use to stand out. Number 2. Julian Assange emailed to ask him not to participate in the fifth state. Benedict Cumberbatch has revealed details of his email exchange with Julian Assange about the new WikiLeaks film, including Assange's plea for him not to take part in the movie, sent the day before filming began. Number 1. Cumberbatch is somewhat surprisingly a fan of extreme sports. In his spare time, he is taken part in skydiving, hot air ballooning, skiing, high speed motorcycling, and scuba diving. Like the video if you liked it, dislike the video if you disliked it, and subscribe for more.